All right, everybody, welcome back to Around the Clock Sonic News. And today we have some interesting topics to discuss when it comes to Rouge the Bat and Sonic Movie 3 and Sonic Cross Shadow Generations. So let's get into it. If y'all remember the other day, Sony held a brand new state of play presentation where they revealed a brand new trailer for Sonic Cross Shadow Generations, introducing the Sonic Movie 3 DLC for this game. This DLC features Keanu Reeves' voice as Shadow as well as the Shadow Movie skin in the game. Now what's very interesting is that in the background of this first scene, here you can see Rouge right there a big Rouge reference which is pretty interesting because this Tokyo stage for the DLC is inspired by the Tokyo scene in Sonic Movie 3. This was revealed by longtime Sonic producer Shun Nakamura that yes this Tokyo stage for the Sonic Cross Shadow Generations DLC is inspired by the Tokyo scene that you see in Sonic Movie 3 and he made that clear in a brand new interview with PlayStation Blog but the big question is is it possible that since this is a reference to to Rouge in this game. Will they have the same reference in Sonic Movie 3? That still remains to be seen. We'll have to see what happens in the movie or will Rouge the Bat actually make a cameo somewhere in the movie or somewhere in the post credit scenes? Again, we will have to see. Now moving on, in a brand new interview with comicbook.com, Award-winning actress Sarah Paulson says something very interesting about being rumored to voice Rouge the Bat in Sonic Movie 3. Now they've revealed this in a brand new interview video, so let's get into it. You know, I do have to ask, I'm here with Comic Book, and everyone's excited about you being in Sonic 3. Everyone thinks you're playing Rouge the Bat. Nobody has called me about playing Rouge the Bat, but I would like them to, but no one has asked me to do this. So whatever that rumor is, I can debunk for you right now. But if someone Great. wants to call me, if you want to send it to the people who make it happen, I'm, I'm down to, I, I want to be in a comic book movie so badly. I only did one, which was called The Spirit, a long time ago, and nobody really watched it, and it just nobody really cared about it. And so I got to have that experience, but like, you know, I'd like to have one where people might actually give a shit, you know? So if you well, want to spread the rumor that I don't know about it, but that I should know about it, you can tell the powers that be to give me a call. All right, so they all have it. Sarah Paulson made it very clear that she is not voicing Rouge the Bat in Sonic Movie 3. She knows nothing about this, although she said that she would love to do this because she would love to be in a modern day comic book movie. So yeah, it doesn't look like it's happening with her voicing Rouge the Bat. And to be honest, this is the first time I heard about her, you know, being rumored to voice this character. Now, does this mean that Rouge the Bat will not be in Sonic Movie 3? Yes and no. It's very possible that this character won't be in the movie at all. Or this could mean that the character will make some type of cameo in the movie. Of course, we don't know this for sure. We'll have to see what happens when the movie actually comes out. So what do y'all think about all of this? This Rouge the Bat reference and Sonic Cross Shadow Generations DLC. Also, what do you think about Sarah Paulson debunking that she will be voicing Rouge the Bat in Sonic Movie 3? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, make sure to like this video, share this video, and for all of you watching this video right now that are not already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that that you don't miss out on daily Sonic News content and I'll catch you guys in the next video.